learn how to build a Tuscan Raider gaffy stick using parts from a Lowe's home improvement store. Feel free to change any of the tools, materials, and methods used in this build. The parts list can be found in the description section below. Let's check in with K2SO to get started. Thank you, Happy Trooper. Here are the parts that were used in this project. Let's get started with the project. Take the sofa bun and measure every one centimeter from the top edge to the bottom edge. Rotate the sofa bun and repeat to get a few reference points around the object. Find a nice straight edge on the sofa bun and mark the top and bottom with a pencil. Measure and mark every one centimeter around the sofa bun. Repeat for the bottom. You should now have some reference lines that will run horizontally and vertically. With a piece of tape, do your best to wrap a horizontal line around the sofa bun. Mark the line with a pencil. Repeat for the other horizontal lines. Do the same for the vertical lines. To shape the pineapple on the gaffy stick, I use TK409's Dremel method. A link to his video and website can be found in the description below. Thank you TK409 for this helpful tip. Please be careful on this step. Use eye and hand protection. Secure your Dremel with a cutting bit in a vise. Begin carving lines in the sofa bun using your pencil lines as a reference. Using various files, I enlarge the cut lines on the pineapple. I also used a cone bit on the Dremel. Take the 1 inch PVC elbow and sand off any lettering or bumps with 120 grit sandpaper. Go over it again with 220 grit sandpaper and follow that with 400 grit sandpaper. Take a corner brace and press it flush against the bottom of the 1 inch PVC elbow. Make a pencil mark on the right, back, and left of the elbow joint. You do not need to mark under the elbow joint. Drill pilot holes on each of the three pencil marks. I used an 11 64ths inch bit to widen the holes for the number 8 screw. Next, I used a Dremel cone bit to countersink the screw head. Mount the corner brace inside the 1 inch PVC elbow and secure it with the number 8 half inch screw and nut. Repeat for the other side and rear of the PVC elbow. To prevent the nuts from moving, I applied some E6000 adhesive on the nut and threads. Place the PVC elbow on the sofa bun and mark the brace holes. I used a 332nd inch bit to drill pilot holes for the wood screws.
Secure the elbow to the sofa bun using the screws that came with the corner braces. Using Lexan scissors, cut the handle off of the funnel. Grind down any rough edges with 120 grit sandpaper. Next, rough up the outer surface of the funnel with some 220 grit sandpaper. Using some tape, secure the funnel on top of the sofa bun. Drill three evenly spaced pilot holes through the funnel and sofa bun. Secure the funnel to the sofa bun using number four half inch flathead screws. Using some 120 grit sandpaper, sand the back edge of the shallow flange. Apply some E6000 adhesive and place the flange over the PVC elbow and secure it to the sofa bun. Allow the adhesive to dry for 24 hours. To fill in all of the holes and seams, mix up a batch of Bondo putty and apply it to the assembly as shown. Bondo dries after about 30 minutes. If you have any really rough patches of putty, sand them down with 60 or 80 grit sandpaper. Smooth it out with 120 and 220 grit sandpaper. Be sure to sand down both the funnel side and the PVC side. Using a standard sheet of 8.5 by 11 inch paper, wrap it around the 1 inch PVC pipe and line up the edges. Draw a line along the paper's edge. Using a hacksaw, cut the 1 inch PVC pipe. Repeat the same step, except cut a 22 inch piece of pipe. Next, grab the 1 and 1 quarter inch PVC pipe. Measure 33 inches down from one of the ends, mark it, and cut it with a hacksaw. You should now have an 11 inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe, a 22 inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe, and a 33 inch length of 1 and 1 quarter inch PVC pipe. Next, print out the fin template, grab some tape, a pencil, and your plastic sign. Draw four fin templates on the back of the sign. Flip the template over and draw four more fin templates. Cut all eight of the templates out using Lexan scissors. Flip the fins over so that the side with the print is showing. Go over each fin with 220 grit sandpaper. Apply E6000 adhesive and secure the fins together. Place a flat heavy object on the fins and allow them to dry for 24 hours. 
After the fins have dried, even out all of the edges with 120 grit sandpaper. Set the fins aside for now. Grab your landscape stake. Insert the pointed end into one of the 1 inch PVC pipes. Mark where the stake meets the PVC pipe edge. Wrap a 1 inch piece of tape on the mark you made on the stake. Using a hacksaw, saw off the excess. Take some 60 grit sandpaper and flatten the edges of the stake. You will have to check periodically to get a good fit into the 1 inch PVC pipe. Print out the fin placement template and affix it to the 22 inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe. Tape it down with cellophane tape. Secure the pipe in a vise. Drill a 1 8 inch hole in one of the ends of the template lines. Using a Dremel cutting bit, cut along the line. Repeat for the remaining three lines. Pick up one of your fins and ensure that it fits in the slot on the pipe. Go over the fins, the stake, and the 22 inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe with 400 grit sandpaper. Place some E6000 adhesive on the stake and place it in the PVC pipe. I will secure the fins with a combination of E6000 and hot glue. I placed E6000 on the two edges that contact the outside of the PVC pipe and hot glue on the fin inserts. Insert the fins and try to get them perpendicular with the PVC pipe. Using friction tape, make two rotations with the tape around the 11 inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe. Sand the exposed end of the pipe with 400 grit sandpaper and sand the inside of the PVC elbow. Apply some E6000 inside of the elbow and insert the 11 inch length of PVC pipe. Allow the adhesive to dry for 24 hours. Line up the pineapple assembly with the 1 and 1 quarter inch PVC. Mark the locations of the friction tape on the 1 and 1 quarter inch PVC pipe. Drill the marks with a 3 32nd inch bit. Using a cone bit on the Dremel, sand out the holes to countersink the number 8 screws. Insert the pineapple assembly into the 1 and 1 quarter inch PVC pipe. Secure with number 8 by 3 quarter inch sheet metal or wood screws. Mix up some more bondo and cover the joint between the PVC elbow and pipe. Sand down the bondo with 120 grit and then 220 grit sandpaper. Now that the joint is sanded down, we'll rough up the entire one and a quarter inch pipe to simulate wood grain and wear. Sand top to bottom with 60 grit sandpaper to make some ridges in the pipe. To really get some deep ridges, use a rasp. Rough up the funnel too. Uh. 
In a well-ventilated area, apply your choice of primer spray. Move the can in a back and forth motion to apply light mist coats. After about 40 minutes, flip the piece over and spray the other side. Allow the primer to cure for at least 24 hours. Spray the spike and fin side with a metallic aluminum spray. Spray the pineapple side of the assembly with a dark brown spray. Allow both to cure for 24 hours. To weather the steak and fin assembly, I will use a combination of Artist's Watercolor in Black and Tamiya Weathering Master Set B. Squeeze some Artist's Watercolor in a mixing tray and add some water. You'll also want to add a drop of dish soap to help with surface tension. Mix up the solution so that it appears semi-transparent on a piece of paper. Generously apply the paint to the fin joints. Allow the paint to dry for 20 minutes. With a damp paper towel, gently wipe off the excess, but be careful not to remove the paint from the recessed areas. This will simulate grime along the welded fins. Using Tamiya Weathering Master, randomly apply the rust color with a makeup applicator. Apply some black too. Gently rub the colors with a dry paper towel to blend it in. To weather the pineapple assembly and pipe, we will use black acrylic paint. First, apply some black paint with a paintbrush straight from the bottle in the pineapple ridges. Do a few at a time, then wipe off the excess, leaving the black paint in the recessed areas. For the funnel and elbow, apply some black acrylic paint to a paper towel and wipe it on. Be sure to get it in all of the pits and ridges. Wipe off the excess with a damp paper towel. Repeat the same process on the pipe. Acrylic paint can dry quickly, so wipe it off after applying. You've made it to the last step. Let's put everything together and finish up. Place the 1 and 1 quarter inch washer over the stake and fin assembly. Make two rotations with friction tape in two areas behind the washer. Insert the fin and stake assembly into the 1 and 1 quarter inch pipe. This piece is removable to make transporting the weapon a little easier.